Good evening, everyone. My name is Beth, and we are here to do my our. Let's see, it's my third paycheck, and my fiance's second paycheck. I'm a weekly paid employee. He is a biweekly paid employee. So we're just gonna go ahead and you know go through our bills, go through what's what, um stuff some cash envelopes some sinking funds and save i think a savings challenge and put some more money towards my debt so if that sounds like anything you'd be interested in is watching me you know finagle my money the way that it needs to be done you can you know follow along um i have this is my cat lilo today is actually her birthday let me move it up a little so you can see her. This is my cat Lilo. She is two today. She's got to be the star of everything. Um, I already gave her her birthday stuff, so she's all super excited. But we're, hey, hey no. Go play with your toys. You've got, hey, stop. Go play with your toys. No, you can't eat my post-its. Stop. Oh, Lilo. No, baby. Can't do that. Would you get down? No. Up. Stop. Get down. Come on. All right. Really? You're knocking everything down. You gotta go. Get down. Hey. Yes, what I thought. She just bit me. So, anyway, let me scroll. Let me put this back down. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. If that, you know, if you want to watch how I do this, you, you know, more than welcome to come along and follow my journey. We are trying to buy some big ticket items, some save up for some big ticket items, and then also save for um, our cruise next year and hopefully get out of debt. So... We're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, so I already did my budget sheet, which I did change my layout a little bit because um, I, I hope that you guys can see this a little better. I'm not, I'm not a pro at this. I'm just trying to hold myself accountable um, with doing my journey. So... Like I said, this is, so you can see like August. So I have my goals and then I'm doing a no spend tracking. So the pink is days that I spent. The greens are days that I didn't spend. Spend, not spent. Whew. All right, so already this month, cause you know, today's the 18th. So we're, we have one, two, three, four, five, six no spend days. And my goal is 15. I may not get there, but that's really okay. I just want to be more mindful of what I'm spending money on. I'm sorry if it gets loud. My air conditioner is turning on because it is hot as can be. So, all right. We don't have to do the monthly because I already went through that. So we're just going to go to the weekly. The planner that I am using is from Salisa at Beautifully Me and You. It is the extended... I'm not sure. Weekly extended planner. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's blue. And I actually got it as a digital download um, off of her Etsy. And she does sell the book form on Amazon. Um, I absolutely love this. I downloaded the digital. That way I could print off as many sheets as I wanted. As I wanted. Because with us... I, I get paid at least four times a month from my job. My fiance gets paid, can get paid three times a month from his job, even though it's the same payday as me. But then, so if that's five, that's at least five. And then I also get social security, so that's six. So some months I could need as many as six sheets. So we are going to go to this week, which is the 18th. I did fill this out in red, I'm sorry. I realize now that red is not a very good color to be doing this in. So we're going to change that, you know, going forward. Um, 
All right, so these are our breakdowns. I could, you know, I obviously I got the check last night. So let's go ahead and go through. We've got I budgeting 170 for my check. I did get a raise. I'm also getting more hours, so my my income will go up a little bit. My fiance's actually went down. Um, he didn't quite have as many hours. I did pull out the laundry rollover from July because I leave the laundry money in the account. Um, so I am actually pulling that from July and I'm putting additional money into it for August. Um, all right, so that gives us $760 we're working with. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna hold it up closer for you. So I did go through and pay all my bills. That's why they're all highlighted. Um, yellow, the city and Aspire I paid a while ago, but I did pay everything else. I did forget a bill, unfortunately. I forgot about Kalarna, but somehow I made it all work out. So it's all good. Um, so after our bills that come to you 540 from this check, because I didn't want to use not whole numbers, we have $220 left. I don't know. Okay. And then for our envelopes, I'm doing a hundred total and we'll break them down. And then going up to our sinking funds, we're doing over the counter pills and gas. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then my debt, so I'm putting a whole bunch of money in there. So we're putting the $50 that I was planning on because of my raise. And then I had a, a dollar of, oh wait, no, that dollar doesn't count. We're going to parse that out. And then the laundry rollover from last month, we're also going to put into savings. Or not in savings, into the debt tracker. So hopefully we'll be putting $70 into the debt tracker. And then this is my final total down here. And it came out to a zero base. However, <laughs> now that of course, we have to throw a monkey wrench into my planning. Because that's how it always works. My boss actually gave me and my other co-worker who we we've been running our asses off basically and he gave us both kind of bonuses so i you know very grateful of that was not expecting that so that money i didn't put into this but we're gonna add it into a couple of places um just to you know satisfy some other money so now that we've kind of gone over the weekly book planner we're gonna go into the breakdown for the cash stuffing. So this is also part of the planner. This planner has the monthlies, the monthly budgets. Got it's amazing. I absolutely love this planner, and I plan on using it for years to come because it just it works with my lifestyle. So we're gonna be taking out two hundred dollars from the bank, and that's what we're gonna stuff with. So I have the breakdown and so we needed 250s, 480s, 110 and 25s cuz I tried not to take out any singles. And my cat is back. How nice. Get out of here. Go lay down. No, lay low, go lay down. You're going to knock my stuff over. Go in the window. Come on. Go in the window. Go ahead. Come on, Lilo, come on, baby. Let's go. Come on, keep going, go sit in the window, come on. Go ahead, you can go sit in the window. All right, so let's go ahead and, all right. So now that we've got that all straightened out, I'm gonna keep this, that way I know how much is going in where. I'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and count the money because you know that's like the best part of this whole thing is counting the money. So I should have $200 from the bank and then I will also have another $100 from my job. So we're gonna go ahead and integrate this. So we'll have 250. So, all right, and yep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and count it. So we've got 50, 100, 
150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 295, and 300. No, that's right, because 200 plus 100 is 300. Okay, so we've got $300 to stuff. So let's go ahead and pull out the tray. Like I said, I'm kind of, I don't know how well this setup's gonna be. I might have to go back on the other side. But I'm kind of, I'm more dominant with my left hand, so I'm hoping that by having it on this side, it will be a little. All right. Sorry about that. My, um, unfortunately, it is time for me to take my meds, and so my phone, you know, stopped recording because that came up. So I had to turn my phone on to do not disturb. That way I don't get interrupted during this. So where we were at, we were about to count the money. So we had three, well, we did count it. We have $300, but we're going to go ahead and count it again because, you know, counting money is so much fun. So we have 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 295, and 300. So we're going to go ahead and put our... money over here and luckily we don't have a lot of bills tonight so i can move it down and i can put my cash envelopes there <sighs> but anyway how has you guys has been you guys's week have been oh god all right so apparently it is friday night and i can no longer speak because it's been insane at my job still uh, i don't know it's been really busy and we had no help today. Apparently, nobody wants to work for, you know, extra money and cash on the spot. And I don't, I'm not sure why not. I don't know. Me and my coworker who, you know, split the tip money was like, I don't even need like call-in pay. You know, we get a little extra if we come in for call-in shifts. I, me and her don't even need to be paid call-in pay or anything. You know, if if, he, if my boss needs help, me and her are kind of the first two that kind of jump. And so, I don't know. It just it amazes me. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, we are going to start off with the with my cash envelopes. Um, I did make these. They are, I absolutely love them. I did, you know, I did make them. Um, these are like perfect and they go in my cute little wallet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and so this is prescription. So we're going to start with that. Um, so we have 15 in here and we are adding 30 because I did, or we're adding 20 because I did not add the full 35 this paycheck as you can you know tell by that. Um, I'm going to see if I can turn the light on and maybe help a little. All right, let's see. And that's a little light. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Apparently not. So we're just going to go with it. I don't know why this is so, you know, not good. But, um, so yeah, so I added 15. We're going to go ahead and add the additional 20 for August. So today is the 18th. And we're gonna add, I have not had to get prescriptions yet um, because I don't have to get them until the very end of August. So we got 20, 30, and five in the prescriptions. Yay. And then whatever money is left over out of this at the end of the month will roll over into my debt. Uh, my debt. So Sam's and Walmart is next, and we are going to put sixty in here. Um, as I said the last time, we kind of went a bit overboard when we went to Walmart. Or no, I'm sorry, we went to Walmart this week, and we spent. A lot of money. So, yeah, we went to Walmart this week and we may have overspent um, between Sam's and Walmart. So, we're going to have to build this back up. 
Um, so we are adding $60 today. And how did I break that down? I don't remember. Um, oh, I actually broke it down with a 50 and a 10. So 50 and a 10. So all together, we've got 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81. So we have 81 because we added on 18 and we added 60. I don't know. I'm using this Sharpie pen, one of the S gel ones. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it. I used to like Sharpie pens, but it's just, it's not, it's not writing right for me. I don't know. I have these Precision V5 Pilot pens that I really liked, and they're clicky. Um, I actually really like these, but I figured I would change it up and use a Sharpie pen. But I don't know how I'm feeling about that pen. So, we'll see. Maybe, you know, we'll fix that. But, so for Sam's and... Um, so for Sam's and Walmart, there's like, who we have to come up with like $400 and there's currently 81. So we, we have, to, we have some stuffing to do on that. Um, all right. So we did that. The laundry money stays in the account. So next we're going to go to over the counter pills, which is in our sinking funds which is my black disc bound binder. This is my extra towards debt. This is just one of those happy planner inserts that I'm just kind of adding money to. Um, all right, so sinking funds wise, we've got nothing's going in personal items. Nothing is going in Lilo. Gas is getting 25 because I did put gas in my car on Monday. And, uh, yeah, that was a little expensive. So, we're going to go ahead and add... So, apparently, the do not disturb option on my phone does not stop my pills from coming through. So, I apologize for having to restart this again so i'm not sure where we left where it cut off but i'm adding 25 to my gas so that's a 20 and a five and we already had six in here so we should have 31 dollars. so we have 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 for gas which i'll have to take out at the end of the month to pay for my gas um, and then the only other sinking fund that we're doing is over-the-counter pills, which is going to get 25 instead of its full 27, because once again, I didn't feel like taking out singles. So we're going to add 27 in here, or 25 in here. So 20 and a 5. And we're going to add, and today is 8.18. All right, so we should have $94, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. So we should have about $94. So we're going to do 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94. So yay, we are perfect on that. And actually, I gotta take some of this out next month because my um, subscribe and save on Amazon is gonna go through. I don't think I need any other pills, but I do will need my probiotics. So that is it in this binder. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put the $70 in the debt folder. So, which is what we should have minus the $100. So, 70, so 50, 6, 50, and 70. So, this is going to go in the debt folder. 
it just you know opens like this so now in our extra debt we've got 50 70 90 100 1 2 3 4 so we have 104 in our debt like to go towards um like an additional payment towards my debt this is actually going to go towards my personal loan that has 120 percent interest rate you know so, sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do in order to make things work but it still stinks so that is that all right and now we've got the hundred dollars from my boss so what we're actually going to do with it is we are going to take fifty dollars and put it towards our cruise we are going to take thirty dollars and put it towards our emergency fund and we're going to take twenty dollars and put it towards the debt so we're gonna have a, so we're gonna go ahead and just put it in the debt for now and put the 20 in the debt okay, so this is a dish this is extra money so i figured we're not going to allocate it to sinking funds or anything so we've got 50 70 90 110 120 and 124 towards debt wonderful that sounds so good if i can at least make like 200 dollars payments towards that loan every month in addition to the 400 plus dollar payment that the normal is i think we'll be able to knock that down a little faster maybe i don't know all right so we're gonna go ahead and put 30 into our emergency fund yeah i get to take this out again so the emergency fund the tracker i'm using comes out of the easy mini cash budget 1000 or less savings challenge planner this is also from salisa at beautifully me and you um so we're gonna go ahead and take out my savings binder we're gonna put the money tray off to the side because you know we kind of know where we're putting money right now so this is going to go into the to, into the here. So it goes into our emergency fund. So we're going to turn the page to the emergency fund. And what I've been doing is just color, coloring it in with my colored pencils. So we're going to go ahead and use silver today because I try to use the like sparkly ones. So we're going to put $30 in and each one of these dollars is 10 So we're going to go ahead and put 30 in. So we're going to color in three, so that's one. That's two. And that's three. All right, and like I said, this book has over 50 challenges to do. All, each of them are less than $1,000 or $8,000 or less. And it's super awesome. All right, I didn't even look to see how much I should have, and I should have, but that's okay. We're just going to count it up. So in the our emergency fund, which we are trying to save for $1,000, we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 1, wow, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Huh, I thought we had 150. I actually may have to take money out of this. We had an issue last weekend and I had to buy a new table for my stepdad. So I think I'm going to use some money out of here for that, um, but I'm not sure yet. Last but not least is our 5k challenge for the cruise, which I need my 5k tracker for. So this tracker I got off of Lily Budgets. Um, I absolutely love watching her. I don't know why. But this challenge we are using to save up for a cruise. So we're going to put $50 in here. And I have my pens for the different colors up here. So we're going to do purple. So let's find the purple pen. Mm, I want to say that's purple. All right. And we're going to go ahead and color in a 50. All right. 
so in, so I broke it up into each folder is for each denomination listed. So for instance, we've got 25s, 50s, 75s, 100s, 150, and 200. So I have them, you know, 50s. When I color in 25, it goes in 25. 50 goes in 50, 75 into 75. 100 and 100 and a 150 or 200 goes in that envelope together. It's just easier for me to keep track of where the money should go. So we're putting 50 in. So we should have 150 in this envelope. So we've got 50, 100, 20, 40, and 50 right on par. And I actually already made a payment towards the cruise so a bunch of this money is going to be coming out so that I can pay the card off. Um, so we should have 75 plus 150 plus 75 plus 200, which is perfect because I made a $500 payment and that's how much we should have in there. So awesome. Um, I think that's it for tonight. Unfortunately, I'm gonna end up getting cut off again. If you liked my, you know, watching me being scatterbrained, luckily I was, oh, wait, one more. I forgot, I have to put my change in my change jar. I wasn't thinking, well, I tried to make this quick, but I think my pills are gonna come back up again, so. All right, hopefully this is the last time I have to restart this video. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and pull the change out. Um, we're actually just putting all the change in here now because I already have the $10 set aside in the bear for my laundry in case we need to use coins. So this is actually a decent amount of change. Look at that. So we're going to put it in our little m and jar. And that's that, which we'll use the next time we actually do our penny challenge. We'll go in here and pull out what we need. So... We'll put that back down there. And I think that's it for tonight. I, I know this was kind of fast and I kept getting interrupted and I'm sorry. But sometimes I just don't have, you know, I don't, I don't know. But that's okay. It was still, you know, we still did good. We got through it and if you liked, you know, watching and seeing how crazy I am and at least things worked out tonight for the most part except having to you know restart my videos but you know go ahead and give this video a like go ahead and subscribe if you want to keep watching me be the crazy person I am and leave go ahead and leave a comment in the comments that way I know that you're watching and we will be back next week for my fourth paycheck of August. I'm actually really excited about this one because it's going to be a decent check because I have extra hours this week. I got my raise and yeah, I'm kind of excited. So, all right. I will see you all soon. Bye.